After wins over National Lakeside Chester City and League of Ireland Division 1 team Cork City, the Potters take on Football League opposition this evening. Right in front of the, uh, the Gresty Road end. And crew supporters are housed in there. It's a short one, floated to the far post and it's gone straight in! Would you believe it? What a shock that is! And Crew Alexandra are in front. Gibson to Beijun Ho, inside to Berger, back to Beijun Ho, he's got forward runners on that left, Bokat is one of them, lovely layoff from Tezgal, and Bokat to the penalty area, he must score, oh great save by the keeper Tom Booth, his outstretched leg, right leg, <coughs> made a good save there, Tezgal picks up possession just outside the penalty area, centre, Baker puts in the challenge as the ball breaks loose and Crew eventually clear their lines, Tracy now on the left for Crew, looking to cut inside, edge of the penalty area, slips it out to uh, Zach Williams back inside to Sanders. He's looking to try one. Kills it in from the right hand side. He's just far away near the goalkeeper Victor Johansson diving across. Wilmot inside to uh, Thompson. Thompson looking for some support. Got it with Baker. Baker's made a bit of time and space. Well, he tries lock 30 yards out. Goes for goal. And it's a good save by Tom Booth. A nasty little bounce in front of him, pushing it away. Finds Baker as Sanders comes back on the field for Crew. Baker whips in the cross, right footed, good header in there from Berger and a good save as well. And it's a corner to Stoke. It's to be taken down this right hand side, left footed by Manhoff, into the danger zone. The header comes in and it's a good save. It was uh, Ben Wilmot who got the header in. Quickly taken, it's back to Gooch. Floated into the danger zone, it's off a crew player and in, it is now! Stoke have equalised! And all of a sudden the complexion of the game has changed and the Potters are back in it thanks to one of their players, number seven it is, who scored for the Potters. Josh Laurent with a few words of encouragement there for Dixon, well passed back. Daniel Johnson now picks up possession. Mehdi Larice has made a good run down this right hand side. Oh, lovely control from Larice. Bursts into the penalty area. Shot comes in. It's saved. Chance for the goal. And Vinigal scored into the roof of the net. And Andre Vinigal says thank you very much. And in the final three and a half minutes, Stoke City are in front. Thanks to Andre Vinigal. It's Crew Alexandra 1, Stoke City 2. This will be the last attack of the game. Left footed and swinger towards the far post. Well held Jack Bonham. And the referee blows his whistle for full time here at the Alexandra Stadium. And the Stoke City supporters away to our left behind the goal. And also down below us stunt as one on their feet to applaud their team. They've won here this evening by two goals to one.